jumping to grass now because uh, we'll now look at cyber security, which is really a uh, rollover, should I say, from technology. The potential for financial, reputational, and increasingly regulatory damage due to cyber insecurity seems to grow exponentially each year. How far should a board interest itself in matters to do with cyber security without getting too operational? Yeah. Uh, thanks, thanks, Rachel. Uh, now, I've been listening to uh, CDA Council Ruth here talking about technology and, and all the, the excitement about technology and the creepy, some uh, creepier than others. Um, then it reminded me, those of us who studied, not in the East African community days, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but, but reminded me this book called English Language and Grammar by, by A.J. Bright. Bright. You remember? Bright. Yeah? No, no, green with white remember yeah. that one? Yes. Yes. So, so no sooner has, <laughs> has the technology become this exciting yeah. than the cyber risks reared their ugly heads for certain. And, and I think uh, the people in the room here and the people in the virtual room certainly do relate to this uh, serious concern, serious risk. I don't want to play back what uh, Ruth has gone through. So, so I, I, I want to talk directly to to the real concern around cyber. Uh, the intentions are as varied as the attackers, the, the, where the attackers attack from is as wide as the World Wide Web, if you like, it is, it is massive. They attack for so many reasons for, you know, uh, some just basically misusing technology. For example, I think there is a debate whether there should be a technology use control bill. The, the lawyers introduced uh, a, a public order one. I'm sure they are about to introduce a technology order something bill very soon. Um, if you think about um, terrorism, there is real cyber terrorism, um, uh, real and sometimes in prospect, um, ransom, you know, um, attacks happen and, and they, they are looking to extract uh, uh, ransoms from, from their victims, uh, stealing of information for all sorts of reasons, for intelligence, uh, for selfish interests, and some actually just do it just to annoy their victims, and, and many companies have fallen victim to this. Now, for the boardroom, the concern for, for the boardroom, the director sitting on a board audit committee or a board risk committee, or indeed on the board, the real concern is whether today with this over-reliance, I want to emphasize the word over-reliance on technology, that organizations have adequate safeguards in the unfortunate event, and I'm using, I'm selecting the word unfortunate because the word unlikely is very unlikely mm -hmm. in the current circumstances. It's, it's unfortunate, stuff happens uh, and, <coughs> and, and attacks do happen. So in the unfortunate event that this happens, are organizations ready? Do organizations have what we call in our corporate governance speak, uh, a crisis management playbook specific to cyber. How are they going to respond? For example, let me give an example. If the attacker uh, uh, closes out all your servers instantly, and they send a message that, hey, yeah, uh, $10 million. I was going to say $100 million, but let me say $10 million. <laughs> You as a board, what do you do? Yeah? yeah. What would you have um, um, uh, uh, rehearsed in your playbook to say, because this will attack, whether we like it or not, small or big, stuff will happen in the cyberspace, in the technology space. 
So how do you deal with that? Big organizations that have huge distribution networks that rely on digital uh, platforms to deliver their goods and services in the unfortunate event that such risks do happen. How do you address them? If you lost all your data and, and, and seated in this room, I'm looking uh, in some direction in this room. Uh, if you lost all, all your data today and you are unable to open your computer, retrieve your information, send emails, transact with customers, what do you do? So the big question, uh, Rachel, is whether as boards are adequately prepared, they have done the necessary test, they have done the, 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 the necessary you know, uh, uh, testing of the, the capabilities that could happen to make their systems vulnerable to cyber attack. I think, I think that is what then the board needs to do. The board needs to ask those questions that should this happen, what is our response? How do we deal with this uh, kind of problem? What would be the impact? Today, and my uh, uh, SC here sitting on my right runs a, a technology telecoms company companies are building a lot of redundancy in their systems, which are very expensive to ensure that downtime of systems is not only minimized, but on almost eliminated. Now, risks like this actually undo all this value. So this is a real values conversation. How do you deal as a board? How do you deal with that value? I'm sure in Ruthie's life, running a telecoms company, a downtime of 2% uh, uh, is so significant to the delivery of your service, to the reputation of your organization, to the confidence that people have in your system, that it certainly keeps you on the edge. It keeps you awake. Now, lastly, and I think this is uh, something that boards and senior leaders need to reflect on. These people, I was going to say this as a no voice, they are always, <laughs> they, they, they are always keeping ahead of the game. Yeah? They are always ahead of the game. So as an organization, how are you able to build capacity and resilience to not be caught on the wrong side of the problem? And I think there are more questions to be asked of boards and of senior management than answers in order to come up with the answers to deal with this, cha this challenge. It is a real challenge. It is not a probability that yeah. it will happen. The Americans have a, have a bad word that I'm not going to use here, but stuff happens. Yes. You know, if you're yes. American, you, you might. Yeah, but, yes. but stuff does what? Happen. But yes. now, when stuff happens, then yes. what do you do? What is your how response? Do you cope with that? Yeah, how yeah. do you deal? How do you <coughs> deal with? How do you dig out uh, of the hole? Correct. Uh, to remain afloat. Oh, interesting. Thank interesting. Thank you very much, Grace. Lots